Howdy doody. My name is Sith Holocron. Welcome to another Donger deck discussion. And I really have found, I think, a decent Jinx deck. And she's always been sort of a character that I've always liked. Uh, the whole thing of like discarding not to mill out your opponent, but to actually make your champion like almost unbeatable. Um, but then everybody then tries to kill Jinx completely. So if we could get a champion that can level up real fast and give it barrier each round. Sounds decent to me. So it does. So let's go for uh, Lulu Jinx, shall we? Let's actually go and do this. So here's the deck. And uh, it's fun. It's actually fun. Uh, so we're starting off with two Poro Cannons. That's a zero cost spell. Uh, you discard one, always good. And so the the way that I build decks, as I'm sure you know, if you have actually seen uh, me build things, I go through you all here and go, oh, this is all good. Um, there are um, quantities of playing three of these, but I think two is enough. Uh, so I pretty much went, yes, we're going to take all of you um, because it discards a card from your hand. And that is what... Uh, you need to do the Jinx. So as soon as your hand's empty, she levels up. She becomes 5-4. Uh, if she hasn't died, etc., etc. And uh, if you get another one, you get to get excited to discard one to deal three to anything. Really good at then getting you one of these, uh, which is deal four to the enemy nexus and one to all enemies. So if you're playing things like uh, jury rigs and spiders and all that sort of good night, this, this game's over. I mean, it's just over. Problem is, you've got to learn. I mean, it's quite... I'd say this is a medium deck to play. Um, you've got to know when they actually discard and when not to discard. You've got to know when it is okay to level up um, Lulu. And you've also got to know when to level up Jinx. And either and both um, are as thus. Lulu as fast as possible. So we've got things that will um, help out. Uh, like picks, for instance. So uh, this is brilliant. Um, it's pretty much in there for the uh, elusive and the Teemo matchups. But for the sake of zero cost, uh, discarding one and you get an elusive 1-1. One, one, that's nice to start chipping away damage or to take out uh, anything kind of horrible that is um, or block anything bigger than this uh, on the return swing. It'll maybe stop people swinging out their solitary monks, for instance, because they'll know we have another one. So they're going to be not doing anything on attack for three rounds. And by that stage, she's a 3-1. By that stage, you've probably got a leveled up Jinx. And then you can hyper-duper rocket her and off you go. So uh, Jury Rig, when cast or discarded. Remember, we're a discard deck. So uh, three Jury Rigs, please. You get a 1-1 Scrap Scuttler. That's all kind of fun indeed. This little... Uh, weird looking crab but again a lovely little card to get cards out of your hand and then a card that doesn't really see an awful lot of play anywhere and this is Pix and Pix is a support um, which is where I went into afterwards to see what supports we can actually use and I didn't want this to be the stereotypical you know witch deck and fuzzy bear thing that is you know it's it's all that it's all been done and it's been done with Shen, and it's been done with Zed, and I wanted this to be a completely different Jinx deck and a completely different Lulu deck. So just to give you guys something a little different, uh, we're using this. So 0-1, utterly trash, but you give your supported ally plus 2, plus 1. And that's really, really, really important. That's really important, because that will keep things alive. So use it wisely. Put it on something that you think is going to die or put it onto Lulu or put it onto things that just will actually kill something. And the thing about this deck genuinely is it does play very fast. The games maybe go to round eight. You've either lost or won by round eight, but it's a deck that you actually have to sit and think about a bit like the Lulu Shen deck and a bit like the Lulu Z deck. Which are we supporting? Which are we not supporting? Etc. 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 And after a few goes of this, you get to realize that supporting uh, 
Lulu early game is perfect. And then supporting something else uh, from about round four or five seems to be a much better way to win the match. So uh, picks really handy. The poor wee thing will die. But, you know, I mean, that's just cool. Look, look at this. That's just class. Pix is awesome. Yes, she is. So, Rummage, uh, three of. Uh, discard two to draw two. If you discard the final two cards in this, you've cast your spell. Two cards, you level up. Jinx, just like that. You can do it with just one to draw one because that's the way this game works and that's fantastic, which is why we're running three of because it's too good not to. And then other things like Xanite Urchin. Now, right. this is a 2-1. You discard a card to draw one. That's counterintuitive, but will get you something that will actually help out in the main as well. So if you have loads of rummages, you might want to get rid of one of them to get the unit down. Or you might want to discard this to get something. But when you've got Jury Rig and you've got the Flame Chompers, when I'm discarded summon, when I'm discarded summon, that's pretty damn decent to put this down, and then you're getting another unit as well. And that, okay, is a 0-2, but it's Challenger. And then if you can add picks to this, all of a sudden it's now a 2-3 Challenger. And that's really handy. This can become a 3-2. Like, you know, this is now a 3-2. That's really handy. Picks is such an undervalued card. And it is actually quite key to this deck. Um, so then the Boom Crew Rookie, little bit of burn. Uh, every time you attack, deal two to the enemy Nexus. Again, that's a really decent card to throw out. The deal two each time this person attacks, if you can pick this, that is another good thing to keep it alive because then this will be a 3-4 for that round. Keep it back, try and keep it safe, put it out again. If Picks will probably be dead, but you're going to probably deal two damage twice. So that's why there's three Boom Crew Rookies. The Flame Chompers we have talked about. Really good to bring that unit over that's actually going to smash the life out of your Lulu or your Jinx. So just pull it to the side. It's hitting this. That's absolutely fine. Nine times out of ten, you won't have costed two. It could cost like just the one or whatever. There's a lot to kind of get away. But the Poro Cannon, you know, you can actually, you know, get this out for zero because you know if that's discarded summon me that's pretty decent which is why i keep thinking three might be better but we have other units and other things and other spells so let's have a wee look at what else we have not too sure how many people have ever went do you know what i want to do i want to build a deck and put in the intrepid mariner I don't really know anybody who puts in the Intrepid Mariner, but you guys will also know that my deck building can be slightly askew. But this is another support. This one's brilliant. So for two mana, you get a 1-3. And whoever you're supporting gets elusive. Which is absolutely brilliant. Like, that's such a good card. So we went for three of these. And as a support deck, you only need, you only need to be supported three times for her to become the 3-4. You get a help picks in hand, which is this. You can give an ally barrier or an en enemy vulnerable. And I'll, I do see most people using the barrier on her or something you don't want to die. But if there's something you want to die and you know you can kill it, in the next and this turn make it vulnerable pull it onto something and kill it and remove it instead of leaving your uh lulu or whatever because by now she is a three four um you can quite easily use this as a vulnerable target that costs just the one mana and that's can actually make you feel quite quite bad to be honest I mean, that can actually make you, your opponent feel, oh, God. Um, I have seen people kill their own units, um, especially with Shadow Wild decks. Put this on to a Thresh, and you're about to hit it. Maybe it's taken two damage. You're about to hit it with a four, because um, you've Lulu'd up the thing. They get rid of it, and they will quite easily just um, kill their own unit with a two-cost spell. 
uh, but it's still dead. So the threat of death leads to them. Now, have we got anything to stop them getting the card draw? Well, yes, we do. So not only is this person giving us uh, an elusive unit, which can't be stopped unless they're being spelled off the board, you could then Mystic Shot something as well. Three of those, because they're fantastic. The best two-spell removal card in the game, bar none. And then we're into the three drops, and we've went for three Get excited, uh, which is, you know, her spell. So if you get her down onto the board, you're getting a couple more. Again, to play, discard one. So if you have a Flame Chompers or a Rome, uh sorry, or a uh, Jury Rig, you are elected. You're getting more units, plus you're doing three to the base. Really good to take out him. Really good to take out her. Really good to take out her, her, him. There's a lot. There's a lot of people who three will just be absolutely atrocious. If Thresh is throwing out and you hit him with a three, then discard it after the battle. Uh, as long as he isn't about to level up and that Thresh is completely dead. Uh, just, you know, hopefully they don't have a rekindler afterwards. Uh, Lulu, we have talked about. Jinx, we have talked about. These two just seem to support each other really well. And uh, pardon my, um, you know, pun intended. Uh, but... It just seems to be a very, very good deck consistently across most decks. The only things this deck has real trouble with is ASOL decks and the vast majority of uh, Targon decks. But if you're playing this in a tournament, you know, this is PNZ and Ionia. So where is the Denies and where are the Will of Ionias? Well, we're not running any because the last five cards... I think are fantastic. So to suit up any of these cards at all, a Jinx is a 4-3, Lulu is a 2-3, she becomes a 5-4, that becomes a 3-4. Suit up really isn't the best one, but you could make this a 4-4, or that a 4-4, put the Intrepid Mariner beside it. This is now a 4-4 elusive unit, that's doing four damage straight to the Nexus, plus the two from the attack. Phenomenal. There's just six damage straight away. Straight away. So it is just fantastically good if you have suited up. Because all of these, that's a 2-1, a 1-3. Even that is kind of decent to make a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, especially if you are using the Intrepid Mar uh, Mariner. So, that's that. And the last two cards are the Augmented Experimenter. This is getting a lot of play in Jinx decks, and I've went with two of them. Um, so, everything in this deck threes, apart from Poro Cannon and this card, you discard your entire hand. Now, that is just leveling up everything. So, you discard everything. Draw three, deal three to an enemy. Again, this is like a get excited, built into a draw card draw thing, and then discard your hand, which is fantastic. And you get a 3-3 with it. Um, and that's his uh, reckless research spell that does his play option. So, Jinx and Lulu. So far, I've played nine games. So far, I have won, I think it's five out of the nine Three were against Targon, and one was against a Lulu Shen deck that was very, very close. Uh, had I been able to get one more Super Rocket, it would have been 6-3, not 5-4. This deck is very fun to play. It's decent, it's competitive, it's not tier one, but it is a good giggle. My name's Seth Holocron. The deck code, as you can now see, is about to be pinned to the comments like this. And all our social medias will also be in that wee section downstairs too. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as it makes all the difference in the world to us content creators. And until the next one, dongers out.